Hello scientists, Mrs. Known here. I want to show you how to use the star wheel. A few things I want to quickly point out to you is up here, where it says standard time, daylight savings time. So that will tell us if we are going to use the top times or the ones along the bottom. So I just went to Google and I searched daylight savings time for 2021 and it starts on March 14th this year and it is over on November 7th and we so that tells me since it's February 1st today for me it is not daylight savings time so we will be using the times along the top so the first thing I'm going to do is um, show you a few things we are going to focus on several stars or patterns of stars called constellations. We are going to be looking at the North Star. And each of these I've highlighted so I can easily see them highlighted with a yellow highlighter. Orion. And these three stars in the middle you can often see. We call it Orion's Belt. And then here is Ursa Major. And part of Ursa Major is the Big Dipper. So I have highlighted that. So. Today, we are going to focus on a specific time each day, but on during different months. And so we're gonna focus on 8 p.m. Now remember, we're using the top time, so I want 8 p.m. So first, let's look for today. Like I said, today is February 1st, so I'm going to take this insert and rotate it. Now, it says January 30th, it says February 5th. So I'm going to put line up my 8 p.m. time real close to the 30th. Tuck it into that pocket. Now let's look at where our constellations are located. Here's Orion. Here's Ursa Major. Now you see the word horizon here. This outline represents the horizon. And the horizon is where the land meets the sky. For instance, in this picture right here is the horizon where the sky meets the land. So as I go farther towards the center of this window, this would be high up in the sky. So you would have to, as you move away from this edge, you would need to look higher up into the sky and depending on which way you're facing. So here I see Orion. I see Ursa Major and I see the North Star. So now what I want you to do is we're going to look at four different dates. The first date we're going to look at is November 5th. So I'm going to rotate through February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November 5th lined up with 8 p.m. Let's look at what we can see in the night sky on November 5th, 2021. I see the North Star. I see Ursa Major, which seems to have moved because before it was around here. And where is Orion? Now it's up there, but would we be able to see it on November 5th at 8 p.m.? Hmm, I wonder why we wouldn't be able to see it. Now we're going to keep rotating to January 5th. Now watch these and also keep an eye out in case Orion reappears in our night sky. Oh, I see Orion. Ursa Major is moving January 5th at 8 p.m. Now I see most of Ursa Major. It'll be really hard to see. Okay, now let's look for March 5th. Notice what happens. I'm gonna rotate, rotate March 5th. There we go. Now Ursa Major is a little closer to the center, so I would have to look farther up. And finally, we're going to rotate until we get to May 5th can be a little tricky. Just tuck it, get it lined up and tuck it in. And now Orion is over here with some of it 
So that'll be right along the horizon if I want to see Orion or Orion's belt. Ursa Major is going to be real high up in the sky for May 5th. So why do you think the location of these constellations change? So do you think we observe the same stars in the sky all year long? And why or why not? Now remember, you may, it may be hard to see stars at night, but that might be because it's cloudy. Or if you live near a really big city with lots of bright lights on at night, it makes it a little harder for us to see the stars.